Hi there and g'day. I'm Dave Wilson. Welcome to Fly Tying Skills. I've taught a few hundred people over the years how to tie flies. A question I'm often asked is, what is the difference between a half hitch and a whip finish? And so the question is this, do we whip or hitch? And what's the difference? Now the tools are very different, as you can see. But are the knots the same? Let's take a look. Firstly, a whip finish. Note the triangle. Once, twice, off the back, there we go. Now a half hitch. Once, twice. Let's take a much closer look. Firstly, the whip finish. As you can see here, there's the tag and there's two over wraps. We move over now to the half hitch. There's the tag again with two over wraps. Now what's going on here? Because quite clearly the knots are identical. They're exactly the same, but the tools are very different. And as you can see here, not only are the tools different, but they come also in different sizes for different purposes, of course. Now here's a problem for a half hitch tool. You can see here on the hopper, it's not going to fit over the head or the legs in order to finish the fly at this point. We really do have to use a whip finish on this occasion, either the tool or using our fingers. Now on patterns like these, there's really no choice. You've got to use a whip finish, either with uh, your fingers or the tool. And if you own a rotary vise, you're really going to have to learn how to half hitch because you'll be doing it a lot because before you rotate the vise, you've got to apply a half hitch before you drop the bobbin over the rest, otherwise you'll end up with unwanted wraps and unwraps. Okay, so let's summarize. The whip finish and the half hitch are identical knots, at least up to three wraps, but that's when the differences apply. With a whip finish, you're limited to around five or six wraps before the tag jams. With a half hitch tool, you're limited to around three wraps to maintain control, otherwise it goes berserk. With a whip finish, most tyres place two or three wraps twice. With a half hitch tool, most tyres place one or two wraps twice. With a whip finish, you're able to access finish points all along the full length of the body of the fly, whereas a half hitch you can't. You're really limited to heads only and to heads also with smaller beads. Now a whip finish tool is easily imitated by hand, but with a lot less feel and control. However, when a half hitch is applied by hand, you really are limited to one hitch at a time. Well, I hope that clarifies some of the differences between whip finishing and half hitching and helps you decide as to whether you're going to whip or hitch. Now, you may not realize that half hitching and whip finishing are just two of the core skills of fly tying. And there are 18 more core skills required in order to tie almost every pattern on the planet. Now we have carefully designed a training course to help you learn all core skills. Now the benefits to you as a learner are these. Your learning is going to be speeded up as the course is based on skills rather than random pattern tying. The patterns we've used have been carefully selected as learning vehicles only or mannequins upon which to hang skills. Your learning is relevant and valid as the skills are derived from the real world from hundreds of learner fly tires over the years and mapped against Leeson's and Scholmeyer's 406 methods to validate that these skills are repetitive and core. And you'll find you're learning a lot easier as each skill is introduced in a logical order building on the previous skill. And your learning is reinforced as well as each skill is repeated in most cases providing sufficient practice. And as we know, practice makes perfect. So what does this course consist of? If you buy it, what are you going to get? You're going to get 47 pages of notes, and the notes are quite comprehensive, four modules, over 100 minutes of video, macro images to allow you to see close up, and slide stacks that you're able to download. So you have the opportunity here to solve the problem of slow haphazard learning. You'll systematically learn the core skills, and you'll be able to tie any mainstream pattern you like. Not to mention, of course, having the thrill of catching a fish on a fly of your own tying. So go to flytyingskills.com and accelerate your learning. I look forward to taking you through the course.